So we're here today at uh, an Essex farmhouse. We're going to be uh, using a, a, a natural Roman cement to render the, uh, the back of this. There's a number of defects there. The decision has been made to render it and to help us through this is it's grown Basta. Uh, also it's Essex isn't it that you, you work out of. Yeah. And what we're going to look at is the, uh, the usability of the product, the qualities of the product and how it might work for different applications. Um, how long have we been using this cement for? We've been using it for the last three years. Okay. Um, we've had some terrific, um, some, ter some terrific work that we've managed to do with it. Right. Um, okay. it it's just so time-saving, really. Right. It's, it's okay. A big bonus with it. So even if you compared it to say a modern cement, you, you would say there's a there's a there's a definite time save. It's lo lovely to use as yeah. well, and, and, okay. and the time saving is amazing. Right. And the labour costs. Yeah. Is the main saving of okay. the product, I would say. And I think that's because of the uh, number of coats. It can go on in different yes. applications, but essentially it's a one coat process. It is. Yeah. And then you don't get that shrinkage problem that you would get, say, if you used a, a more modern cement or even a line. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And you have used it on various buildings where there's been damp issues. Very good for that. It, right. Very good. I mean, okay. we've, we've used it um, on several buildings where we've had severe damp issues. Right. And um, this one is one of them. Yeah. And um, it's it's solved the problems. Okay. Um, very breathable. Yeah. Um, okay. So you've got the evaporation yeah. process working, buildings Absolutely. dried up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Was that with any demi uh, DPC? Injection work, or no, it wasn't, it wasn't. Actually, okay. I mean, in this particular building, yeah. but we have used it, um, yeah, with, with, in, combination in combination with that as well. That, yeah, if it's extreme, okay. but yeah, it's so, um, yeah, it's a great product, and okay, you know, people will yeah. give it a go. Really. Now, there's a number of ways in which we can use it. I mean, one is with we can we can use it neat or blended with lime. I think you prefer to gauge it with some lime, don't you? I do myself, yeah, yeah I have okay. used both, but I do prefer it with the lime, right? Okay, and fibers, um, a small amount of fibers, yeah, um, just in the backing coats, yeah, um, okay, I, I find, yeah, that's a good okay. And your aggregate, what sort of coarseness would you say you're working with um, on the aggregate? We, we use a sharp sand um, right. for, for starters, um, a, a, a standard sharp sand for right. any builder's merchant. Okay, so like a plastering sharp would, plastering would work. Plastering sharp is fine. Yeah. And, and then um, we do reduce sometimes if we want a very smooth flat finish, right. we reduce it down to, to a, a finer, finer aggregate. Yeah. Okay. And, you, yeah. and, and you can, if you, if you take it a step further, you yeah. can use um, a, a, a putty um, as a top coat. Oh right, okay. Which yeah. is good, and you can use that with a sh with a very fine yeah. silver sand or okay. clean dried sand, which does give a lot. Of and as I understand from a previous conversation, you can actually use that putty almost immediately okay. on top of the of the natural cement. You get a really good bond between Absolutely. the two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, So there's no time really no. In, in in waiting and aftercare. It kind of really with, with helps for that. Traditional limes, you, you, yep. you keep coming back and keep trailing yep. up. It's a one-day application, and the finish is fantastic. Good, you know, yeah. Ticks good. all the boxes. Yeah. Really. Okay. Well, you've done a bit of prep, haven't you, yesterday, just so that when we do this, we can see how the um, the work progresses. But what do you think of the colour of that and the customers? What do the customers think about customers, it as a self-finish? Yeah, the customers like the colour. Yeah. Um, a lot of customers don't paint it; they just leave it as a right. finished product. Yeah. Um, Labour saving as well. Yeah. Um, but it, yeah. Is a, it is a nice yeah. colour, yeah. Good. So we'll just start with the first dugging out course. Which is just really getting any, any thickness applied first. Make the next couple of coats of an even thickness.
So, three o'clock, Graham. Uh, we've done it. We started about nine o'clock ish. Yeah. Uh, job's done. What do you think? It turned out well, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, excellent. I mean, to be able to do it that quickly yeah. in one day and breathable, the labour savings massive on a job like this. And it's a great product. Great. Thanks very much. Thank you.